What's going on everybody out there? It's your boy Mike underscore Pyramid Senior on the Twitter. You know me better known as Mike Knox. I stole that with three X's because, you know, like Raw last night, I am hardcore. And this is my JMO for Monday Night Raw. People, listen, I don't care what you come to do. I come to clap my hands. Monday Night Raw. Listen, wrestling fans... You cry about them not doing traditional stuff. Then, when they do the traditional stuff, you complain it took too long. But when they get it just right, you still complain. It's okay. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the wrestling fans that actually enjoyed Monday Night Raw last night. Listen, I'm not going to take it from the top. or the bottom, because we're here. I'm going to start where it was absolutely fantastico okay you first of all you had these matches set up okay with the team split in half and guess what they all fared well together okay despite and i love the kevin owens show kevin owens is the man okay roman reigns is the man the raw team is is the team i didn't say the team to beat because i love that smackdown team too however listen guys it was so good last night the closing segment was so good last night first of all let me just rewind a little bit let me rewind a little bit more okay that's good enough all right listen all right because this is how i feel this is a smile on my face right now all right because i don't care about those who may complain about this video or complain about raw this ain't for you all right just wait for the next video this is for the people who think like i think the intelligent wrestling fan they understand the wrestling business all right first the face to face with oldberg and brock lesnar i said oldberg that's not mine that's emmy richmond on the twitter uh co-host of the soul and sports he called him oldberg and you saw that when he took his shirt off right he couldn't even rip his shirt all the way off and he has no muscles and then you saw brock lesnar take his shirt off and he's not juicing anymore so they both look pretty flabby and sick like larry holmes but still great feel-good moment right old bird old bird old bird that's what the fans should have been chanting in buffalo new york yesterday shout out to buffalo new york but not only was that entertaining with paul Heyman and, and, and gold goldberg i said his name i was said oldberg in that moment but i missed my opportunity but it was just a good good time I got to see my friend lance and there is one of the security guards there uh up, up at ringside waiting for him to finally break through to the nxt roster and do his thing but i gotta go to the main event i gotta go to the face-off between team smackdown team raw genius just absolute genius wrestling fans complain and say they don't get the, what they want we don't get good stuff that was perfect jericho you're going on a list stupid socket hair it's going on a list and what is his face he's just making lists too all that was great to uh bray wyatt confronting braun Strowman. to i mean every step of the way was just absolutely incredible my opinion that's what this is my jmo raw last night typically you probably would give it probably about a seven maybe an eight some of you out of ten but i don't give belt i don't give letter grades we give belt grades based upon our favorite belts and anybody who knows me who's been with me over the bdsr radio network for the last 10 years know my favorite title of all time is the television title worn by one r anderson tully blanchard friend of the program and other greats like the american dream dusty Rhodes. last night's raw was a five out of five arn anderson worn wcw eh, eh, nwa titles great raw great finish great stories great matches great intrigue it was just all around a great show and i know somebody just saying what, what, what are you talking about again i'm not talking to you if you give raw anything less than three out of f four out of five title belts this ain't for you Raw was incredible. It made me feel like I was 15, 16, 17 years old all over again, excited about the fall classic that is the Survivor Series. Yes, it's not on Sunday where we wish it was on, I mean, Thursday on Thanksgiving like it was when we were back when we were kids, but it's still traditional Survivor Series. You got four Survivor Series traditional matches. You got three important single matches on the card. I'm extremely happy 
for this pay-per-view, and you should be too. Sunday special start time, 7 o'clock. For the intelligent wrestling fan, the Survivor Series is back. We don't know where the titles are going to go. We don't know where the Cruiserweights are going to go. We don't know if Oldberg is going to beat Brock Lesnar. We don't know what brand will win. We talked about on Raw, the main event, how this title means more than that title. How this title means more because I am holding this title. I cannot wait for this Sunday. Survivor Series. Matter of fact, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rewind a little bit. Right? A little bit. I can't wait for SmackDown Live tonight, 900th episode. Just my opinion. It was absolutely fantastic. Five out of five. 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 That's right. Five times. NWA television titles last night, guys. Raw was great. Cannot wait for the Survivor Series. I mean, what else can we wait for? What else can we anticipate? We got Saturday night is going to start off with TakeOver Toronto. I mean, we got the Survivor Series Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. We got Intercontinental title on the line. We got Cruiserweight titles on the line. We got all the smack on the line that wrestling fans have asked for that I personally feel we have not gotten since the invasion angle, guys. Make sure you go out there. Get the hashtag going. Herd versus Knox. That's H-E-R-D versus Knox with three X's because Colin Coward you got something to say about wrestling fans you got something to say about boxing fans come on challenge me I tell you that you're the one that eats on the eat your boogers on the couch that's what I'm gonna say how about that big guy and also make sure you go out there and support the show that gives us all what we need the soul and sports that's right the flagship show on the Fox Sports Radio Networks. Make sure you check it out where Barbershop Talk meets Radio. That's S-O-U-L, capital N, Sports. On the Twitter, the station that gives you the identification, 1340 AM, Fox Sports on the Twitter as well. And you know, already know how to follow me, Mike, underscore, underscore, Pyramid Senior. It's right there in your lower part of the video. Just go ahead and follow me, subscribe. All right, you understand what I'm saying? Make sure you go so to my Facebook page, Mike, Pyramid Senior on the Facebook as well as the YouTube page. Hit the uh, bell because I'm going to be putting up JMOs all the time now, okay? Raw reviews, basketball talk, whatever it is, I'm going to give you my opinion on it. Listen, hey, it's just my opinion. You don't like it? Listen anyway. Peace. <laughs>